Hey guys, it's Millie and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I filmed. Um, I've got new hair. As you would notice from my old videos, I dyed it a bit darker, well a bit darker. I dyed it darker and got rid of like the blonde ends because it was so killing on my hair. Um, and I got my eyebrows tattooed so I won't be really needing to film in too much in videos which is such a plus. I love them so much. If you want to know anything about them, like leave questions in the comments and I'm happy to answer any questions. This tutorial is going to be on the look I created today which is like a, you could kind of say it's a warm toned, bronzy, smoky eyeshadow look with a like a mauve lipstick. So if you would like to see how I created this look just keep on watching and we'll get into the video. So starting with my Mario Badescu, I don't even know, that um, rose hip facial spray. I'm just going to spray that on. And then going in with the Fasali Rose Gold Oil. Now I'm kind of using a lot of primers, but I just like that routine. I'm using the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. Yes, this is like a little mini version because I got it sent with like the Mecca Beauty Loop box. Putting that all over the face. It just like really blurs the pores and I don't know, I'm liking it so far. I think I'll buy the bigger one. So for foundation, I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in Honey, which is number 11. And it has like a cool applicator to just kind of draw on your face. Makes like no mess on like the back of your hand of that. I think it's pretty neat. So using a damp beauty blender, I'm going to blend that all in. And then I'm going to conceal using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I just put it like on the T-zone and under the eyes. And using the Beauty Blender again, blend it all in. So I'm like also blending the concealer on top of the eyelids so I can like prime the eyelids for the eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna bake using the RMCA No Color Powder that like trans... I just like got it all over me. That like transparent no color baking powder. It's like cheap as chips, it's so cheap. And I'm gonna press that under the eyes and pretty much everywhere I put the concealer so I can like bake the concealer so it doesn't crease and it brightens it, but mainly like just so it doesn't crease. Then I'm going to set the face using the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder in Darkest Brown. And using my Real Techniques powder brush, I'll just set it all. It's like a hit pan, so I'm really not getting much up. You buy a new one very soon. Then I'm going to bronze up the face a bit using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. That is like the first time I've ever set it on film and got it 100% right the first go. Oh my god. I legit always like stuff it up and oh, repeat it like 10 times. I'm so proud of myself. And using my Zoeva Luxe Cheek Finish Brush. I really love this bronzer. It's like my hands down holy grail bronzer. It's pricey but... I mean, you get so much out of them. I've had it for months and I've like barely put a dent in it. Sorry, I forgot to say, but I'm pretty much just putting the bronzer like on top of the forehead around the face a bit just to like warm it up and give it a bit of life. <laughs> Then I'm going to contour using the Stralis Contour... Stralis? The Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour... Whoop! Sea Daisies Contour Palette and this Carity Cosmetics Contour Brush in F21, that's the name of the brush. And using kind of a mixture of the top three, but mainly focusing on those two ones, I'll just contour. Using the small Zoeva Contour Shader Brush, I'm going to contour under the lip and my nose. Now I'm going to work away the baking using my Real Techniques brush. I do not know what it's called. I've had it forever and I always use it for the baking. So I'm kind of going to wipe it away and then also use it under 
the contour to kind of clean it up a bit. So I'm using the powder like for two different places if it makes sense. So the camera just went flat. Now I'm using my old camera which doesn't have autofocus so it's not really gonna like focus if I change position so hopefully I'm in focus right now. Now that like I've just finished the contour and like for the camera went flat, I'm now gonna apply a little bit of blush using the Too Faced Love Flush Blush. Love Flush Blush. <laughs> My gosh, with my Zuliva Cream Cheek Brush. I like never wear blush because I don't naturally have like pink cheeks or pink lips or anything. Like I'm actually, for some reason, I don't have much pinkness to my skin. <laughs> Same like if I get embarrassed, my face doesn't go red. It's weird, but also a blessing. But I'm gonna try to use blush a lot more because it adds like liveliness to the face and I don't know, sometimes I really like the look of it, I just always forget to because I mean the whole point of blush is putting the colour back into your face, you just took out the foundation well I don't have the colour in the first place, if that makes sense. So I just applied like a little bit of mascara which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara just because like mascara is like the first step in my makeup routine and I forgot it so I just like a little bit and like because I always do like a second coat later on or if I'm doing lashes whatever so I'm gonna highlight using my MAC soft and gentle highlighter I love highlight so much I could like never have too much highlight I'm gonna like use my finger to apply a bit to the cupid's bow and a bit to my nose so I'm just going to use like a cotton tip and makeup remover just because like because I've had my eyebrows tattooed um I get foundation on it and it's kind of like covers it a bit you know what I mean so I'm just going to like wipe them away so it is clean so yeah just like it makes a difference I don't know if you guys can tell but it just gets rid of any like foundation just sitting on top of the skin okay now that they're like cleaner foundation I'm just going to start filling them in Start by brushing the hairs up. And I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade, cause my MAC one is finished and dried up. I need to buy a new one. And the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil, it's number 12. It has like the spoolie on the end. I mainly focus it all like in the arch and just leave the front natural. So I'm really not doing much. I'm kind of just putting a bit of product on the spots where I actually don't have the hairs and the tattoos there in place because it just doesn't look as thick as where I do have the hair because, I mean, obvious reasons. Oh, and the brow pomade is dark brown, just so you know what shade I am for reference. So I'm going to use my concealer again, the Tarte Shape Tape one, and this Soeva Luxe Brow Light brush to like clean up the brows and usually that like nice sharp line underneath. I'm running out of concealer. So now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to use my favourite MAC 224 eyeshadow brush. This was expensive, but I swear it's the best eyeshadow brush. It just blends colours like so seamlessly. It's actually like a really, really good brush. And the Kylie Bronze Palette. I'm going to start off with these two shades here and just blend them like kind of in the crease and as like a bit of a transition shade. Just a something light that just starts off the eyeshadow look. And I'm going to use the white shade at the top here just to also like blend the brow bone highlight to the other colour just so there's like a bit of a gradient in the colours, making sense. Then I'm going to use a touch of the orange shade right in the middle just because, I don't know, I'm kind of liking that look of like a little touch of orange just adds something like, it looks amazing on people with blue eyes but unfortunately I have like brown, browner than brown eyes. It doesn't really add much but I still like the look of it. Now I'm going to use like a bit of the brown shade right on the bottom row in the middle, just like on the outer part of the eye. And fold it a bit into the crease. Piss off fly. Seriously. There's this stupid fly and it's been flying around the room for this like whole video. It's doing my head in. And back in with that white shade to blend it all together. 
Now going in with the Tarte Tarteus Pro eyeshadow palette, which looks like that. I'm gonna use the color Glam, which is like one of those shimmery ones on the side. I'm just putting it on like the inner bit of the eye. I can't even speak today. And then going in with the Peanut Butter Jelly Eyeshadow Palette by Too Faced. And I'm gonna use the one called Peanut Brittle and it's like an orangey shimmer kind of color. And I'm just gonna use that like all over the look, if that makes any sense. Mainly focusing it on that crease bit and where we put all the other colors. I'm just gonna turn it a bit more shimmery than that. And a little bit of peanut butter, which is the light brown one on the top. Just on the outer edge. Now for lashes, I'm just going to go in with these Allure number 140 lashes. And just using my duo eyelash glue like I always use. So just putting like a little bit of glue on the lash band. Okay, the lashes are done. Now I'm going to use a little bit of my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara on my bottom lashes and a little bit on the top lashes to like blend the fake ones to my ones. Now that like the eyes are pretty much done, I'm just going to highlight the inner corner and like the brow bone using the MAC highlighter again and my Zoeva Luxe Precise Shade Art Brush, it's like a tiny little end. Now I'm going to go in with lipstick. So going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Malibu Lip Liner, I'm going to line the lips. And then using the Kylie Cosmetics Malibu Lipstick to match it. I'm almost out because this is my favourite lipstick by far. So that brings me to the end of today's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more from me. I'll leave my social media links in the description bar if you want to follow me on anything. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.